Hello guys! In this video you will see how you can use the item list and how we can create a simple to-do list in Godot. So we will be able to add, mark and delete things from the list. So let's start creating the structure of our app. So let's select user interface because we want a control node. Then we can create a panel. This panel will just become the background of our app. So let's change the layout to full rect. Now we can add a VBox container to organize the nodes. And we can make it full rack 2 so that it covers the entire app area. Then we can add the item list node and then HBox controller. Oh, the HBox should be under the list and not inside it, so let's drag it out. Then we can add a line edit that will be used to write the text and after that a button that we will use to save the text. I will just adjust the elements to make it fit well. And now we can go to our script. So first let's preload these two textures. We will use them to change the texture of the button later. So we will use one texture to add an element and another texture when we want to delete something. Then we will have a variable to check if something is selected. This is the function that's called when the button is pressed. So first we are checking if there is some text in the box and if nothing is selected. If so, we add an item and clear the box. If something is selected, we erase this element. And that's the function to add an item to the list. First, it just takes the text at the box and put it at the list. Then we use this function to create a metadata to our item, so we can check if the item is active or not. Then we have this function to remove the selected item. This function will just take the selected item and put in this variable it, then it will remove this item, will change the is selected variable to false and check the button. The check button function will just change the texture of the button if something is selected or not. Then we will have this function to detect if the user presses enter. It will do the same thing as pressing the texture button. This function is called if some item is selected. It just changed the is selected to true and changes the button texture. This function unselect the list if the user is typing something at the box. And that's the function that unselect it. It set the is selected to false, and select the entire list, and checks the button to change the texture. This function is called if the user clicks on the list at an empty point, so it will unselect the list too. And this is the function that runs if the user double clicks an item. This function will check if the item is ac active or not. If not, it will change the background color to green, and will set active to true and if it is active 
It will remove the green color and will set it active to false. Now we need to link all the signals to our script. And this is our final result. We can type something here, click OK to add it to the list, or press Enter. If we click on some item, the button changes the texture, and so we can delete this item. If we double click an item it will be activated and will be marked with this green color. If we double click it again it will remove the green color. And basically that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so please consider subscribe, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.